Welcome to the Astronomy Online Labs. My name is Ulrike LaHayes and I'm going to be your instructor this semester. I'm looking forward to getting to know you personally. For this part of the lab success tutorial, I'm using an older section of an Astronomy 1020 lab to demonstrate how to find vital support materials and submit your work. Both my current Astronomy Labs, 1010 Lab and 1020 Labs, are set up the same way. So the steps demonstrated in this tutorial apply to your current lab sections. You may encounter some minor updates in your current sections, such as different news items, dates, discussion postings contributed by students, and added or removed support materials. But the overall structure and navigation of the course remains the same. Before we get started, I want to remind you that your success in this course will depend on you referring to the support materials or shooting off a question by iCollege email or post to the discussion board in the dedicated lab help topic when you get stuck on something. I'm using when here and not if because the labs are more practically oriented than the lectures which involves going through simple calculations and procedural steps to interpret images, figures, and labs. This can be confusing when you work out the labs on your own. So don't be shy. Everyone else will be glad you asked because most of your classmates will be stuck on the same issues. In a face-to-face -face class, I would go from table to table and answer lots of questions and be able to assist my students immediately. Online, there is little more turn. There is a little more turnaround time involved in getting your questions answered. Keep that in mind and start working on a lab procedure a week or so before the suggested calendar due date. It is okay to work on a couple of labs at the same time, so you can continue with the class work on another lab while you're waiting for clarification on the one you started before. Be sure to take full advantage of all the supporting resources that are posted under the laboratory's content module for each individual lab. Once you have checked off every item in the Getting Started checklist, this will become visible under the Content tab and the Content Browser, as you can see here. The laboratories under the Content Browser or later when we go to the Content tab. There are question-by-question question hints, annotated slides, recordings of live help sessions, etc. I will show, show you in detail where they are and how to open them up. In my experience, the most successful students are those that know all their resources and use them extensively. It doesn't matter a whole lot how much prior knowledge you have, as long as you're willing to work hard and seek help when you get stuck. Now that you're ready to start your work, I want to remind you that the syllabus has a list of lab procedures. So going to the Getting Started module, here you always find the syllabus. Click on the download that will just open it up in your Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now scroll down to the top of the third page and here you find a list of laboratory procedures. It shows in what sequence they are supposed to be worked out. Now note that this is the list for the 1020 lab. If you take the 1010 lab, you will see a different list um, of labs. This list of laboratory procedures in the syllabus does not show the suggested due dates for the labs. Those are posted in the calendar tool on the global nav bar at the very top of the screen. Now we use the browser's back button to get back to a place where we can see the course nav bar and above that at the very top of the page 
is the global nav bar with the calendar tool that we click on. The iCollege calendar is global, which means that it contains entries for all your iCollege sections. If all these multiple section entries are confusing, you can filter them out with this drop-down menu and only show the calendar entries of this particular course. Now the calendar shows by default the current month. So we will have to back up to January 2015 when the course started. And that is the example course. The one that we're using for this tutorial. Now, unfortunately, we're in the Firefox browser, and I've noticed that if I display the calendar in the Internet Explorer browser, then the writing will come in black. So, as you can see, this is the first day of classes for that particular semester, and I usually leave about a week, if not even a little bit more, for my students to get through the getting started procedure and get their lab up and running. Now here is the due date for the first lab. Let me go ahead and click on it. So a new window will come up and you can click on more to see the full entry. Note that also on the state, discussion questions DQ1 and DQ2 were due. You can click on those lab entries for the specific details. Okay, let me just go ahead and read this real quick. This is going to be the standard entry for all labs and what, whatever lab is due, you get from the title. So lab one due is the math review lab quiz. This one has no additional pre-lab. All the other labs will have a pre-lab quiz that goes with them. Now submit the lab quiz and the pre-lab quiz, if applicable, of the same name as above through the quizzes tab, which is in the course navbar. So this is here where you go to the quizzes tab and you find a list of all the labs for the lab quiz labs and pre-lab quizzes. Or use the quiz link in the laboratory module of the same name as above. This is in the content browser, on the home page, or the content tab of the navbar. This is where we will go immediately following where we can also find support materials and links to the discussion questions that will be part of your participation grade. Lab quizzes and their respective pre-lab quizzes are used to turn in to the instructor the answers you work out in the lab textbook. The questions in the lab quiz and the respective pre-lab quizzes are exactly the same as those in the lab textbook. If this lab requires you to submit hand-drawn graphs or sketches, you can try to insert digital pictures of them directly into the answer box or send them to the instructor as an iCollege email attachment. This due date is a guideline to keep you on track. You can take more time to work out the lab and get help if you need to, but it must be tur turned in by the first day the lab midterm exam becomes available at the very latest. Keep in mind that it becomes harder to succeed the further you fall behind. So let's use the content tab so you also see the support materials that are supposed to that are posted to help you work out these labs. To get there, 
you will go to the laboratories page and click specifically on lab one the math review let's take a look at the items in the math review module like all the other lab modules the first item is the general information the general information gives you an overview of how many labs and what labs have to be turned in and where the images programs and simulations are located that you'll use to work out the, all the labs all the questions you need to work out come directly from the required lab textbook you will submit them using the lab and pre-lab quizzes under the quizzes tab which are also linked to in the content module for each lab you can use the browser's back button or the breadcrumb links which are at the top of the page to bring you back to the lab one math review module another very important resource is the set of recordings of live help lab sorry <laughs> live help sessions from past semesters now if you click directly on the recording links you will get a password prompt or an error message in order to access these recordings directly you must first go to the important course resources so let's close out this window with the error message and use the, bre the breadcrumbs to go back to the table of contents go to the important course resources which is the module directly underneath the laboratories module and click on the pick and play link This opens up a new browser tab labeled Share Stream. This tab must remain visible in order for the recordings to play without the password prompt or error message. So leaving this tab visible, switch back to the pick and play tab, which is essentially our um, iCollege course. Go back to the table of contents click on the laboratories module and go back into the lab one math review module now note that the share stream tab is still open in a separate browser uh, tab now when you click on the recording for the uh, live math review office hour it should come right up and play without any error messages or login prompts now I have set my tutorial to only record my um, microphone which is a wireless microphone so you cannot really hear the system audio which will play the recording now if you have issues with the audio visuals that are that are playing through ShareStream be sure to double check your computer's audio visual settings 
or send a help message to the GPC help desk because GPC is hosting this share stream service. Let me just close this out and go back to the Lab One math review page. And as you will see, there are further helpful resources and links to discussion questions, the math review lab quiz, and optional resources. But we will go over that in our next module, in our next tutorial, and start off right here where we left off.